think one of the things that, that is clear, um, and it's been said in a number of different fora, is the importance of personal contact. So you can do things, obviously you can do things remotely, um, but it's about understanding one another, really building trust with one another, and coming to understand different people's point of view. Because if you don't actually meet one another, then you don't have that same sense of the different ways that people see issues, to have your own assumptions challenged. And that's what's really valuable about having people from different contexts, both disciplinary and national contexts, coming together. And it's a really important part of the series. And we're very grateful to the ESRC, who have provided the funding to bring five scholars from the Global South to each of the seminars. But for me, what's really been important is the question of how to make the case for the centrality of social science so that you go beyond an instrumental case, for example, saying you need a knowledge and, and attitudes and perception survey. And you really think about how a social science perspective changes the way that you see the problem. A social science perspective raises questions about, well, why is there this technical domination of health? Is it simply because the hard sciences are better at doing these things? Or is there an issue, for example, of drugs companies having a particular commitment to finding particular sorts of solutions? So for, for me, social science is about putting people at the center. And that may mean that we actually need to spend less rather than spending more. And that we're asking key questions about what's the use of what we're doing and who is gaining through what we're doing rather than simply letting the science and the technology lead. And that's where I think we need to be going with social science. So it's having a transformatory agenda rather than simply filling in the bits that the natural sciences or the medical sciences can't manage themselves.